What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you why your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro may not be able to read your SD card, micro SD card, USB stick or external hard drive. So my name is Sergio with Surge Tech. In this channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell to receive notifications on my future videos. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at surge.tech and there's gonna be links to all the information that I talk about in this video in the description down below. So check that out. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so here, as you can tell, I have a couple different memory devices. I have a micro SD card, I have SD card, I have USB 3.0 sticks and I have two external hard drives. All of these memory devices are different sizes, but they all have one thing in common. And that one thing that they all have in common is that they need to be formatted in the proper way for your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro to read it. Same thing goes for Windows. If you have a Windows computer, uh, you also have to have your memory device formatted in the proper way for your Windows computer to read it as well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly format your memory device so that your MacBook can read it through the Hub Pro USB-C adapter. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two examples here of two micro SD cards that are formatted in different ways. And I'm gonna show you how to format it properly so that your MacBook can read them. And this is gonna be the same for any other type of memory device that you connect to your MacBook. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you what happens when you install a memory device with a format that your MacBook isn't meant to read. So we're gonna go ahead and install this SD card which is formatted a certain way that the MacBook will not read it. So it will show up on the MacBook screen, the MacBook will sort of read it. As you can see here, we can select it, but there will be no files displayed here. So you can't read or write files to this memory device. See, it gives us an error code here, or it might act like it's gonna save the file, but it really doesn't. Uh, and you can't really see any files on the memory device. And if we select it, get info, you will see that four gigabytes are used. So there is information in this uh, memory device. Okay, so now we're gonna install a micro SD card that is formatted in a different way that's not gonna fully function either. So with this SD card, we're gonna be able to read files from it, but we're not gonna be able to transfer files into it meaning to write files into the SD card. So let's go ahead and install it so I can show you. So there you go, the MacBook picked it up right away. It's showing up right here. There are a couple files in here. So like I said, we can read the files. There you go, it's reading it. You can also transfer files from the memory device to your MacBook. But what we can do is we can't write files from the MacBook to the memory device. So if I select here, as you can see, we're gonna get this gray circle error thing, uh, meaning that we can't transfer to the memory device. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix any of these SD cards so that you can be able to read and write fully to them. And this is gonna work for micro SD cards, SD cards, USB sticks, or external drives as well. It's all the same thing. What you're gonna need to do is, you're gonna need to reformat the memory device. And it's really easy to do. If you do have information in there that you wanna back up, that you don't want deleted, connect it to a different computer, maybe a Windows computer, which may read the memory device since your MacBook can't, and back up everything first. And then once you're ready, go ahead and plug it back into your MacBook. You're gonna select the search magnifying glass up here. You're gonna type in disk, and you're gonna select disk utility. Here in disk utility, you're gonna select your memory device. The one I have in here right now is a micro SD card. It's this one right here, external micro SD. And as you can see, it is formatted in a Windows NT file system. So that's why I can't write files into it. So how we're gonna fix it is, you're gonna select erase up here. Uh, here you can name it whatever you want, but this is the important part. You're gonna select where it says format, and then here you're gonna select XFAT. Now the XFAT format, what that's gonna allow is that it's gonna allow all your Mac computers, meaning MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, and also Windows computers as well, will be able to read that format type. So for any memory device, just go ahead and format it to an XFAT format type, and you'll be able to read it across all Windows and MacBook computers. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit erase. It is going to erase everything on the device. That's why I mentioned before to go ahead and back it up if you could before doing this. 
Okay, so there you go. Now it has been formatted in XFAT format. So now your MacBook will be able to read. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up now since it's still here connected. Uh, like I said, everything has been erased because it was formatted, but now we can write files into it, no problem. And as you can see, I am writing files to it, no problem. And once again, we can also read files from it so we can transfer them back. And as you can see, it's uh, trying to write it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. There you go. And that's how you'll be able to get your MacBook to read any memory device, SD card, micro SD card, USB stick, and external drives as well. All right, everyone, so that is it for this video. Hope it helped you out. If you're having issues getting your MacBook to read your memory devices, so go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to more people and help them out with their tech needs. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, if you watched till this point, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And as always, peace. Hello.